Autoscope Encore product launch. My name is Scott Robinson, Autoscope and DCMS2 product manager here at Econolite. At this time and in celebration of the success we've had over the past 20 years, I am very proud to introduce the eighth generation of Autoscope, the Autoscope Encore. Today we're installing the new Autoscope Encore camera. Before beginning any Autoscope installation, please make sure that you're utilizing all necessary safety equipment and that you have a high confidence level in utilizing the bucket truck controls before coming up to the luminaire arm. As an added precaution, we also recommend that you terminate the Encore pigtail to the device itself just as an added precaution. Simply line up the keys to the bottom of the camera connection, turn until you feel a snap lock connection. That will ensure a quality connection for many years to come. The Autoscope Encore is also provided with steel risers that give the Encore camera uh, some distance away from the existing mounting bracket to make adjustments for optimal field of view setup. Uh, once that is set on the bracket, you don't have to worry about it. It's secure, it's not gonna fall, and it gives you the opportunity to get to the hardware and secure it to the existing mounting bracket. Once those bolts are tightened, finger tightened and secure, it's now time to adjust uh, the sun shield for ideal detection. A uh, good rule of thumb is to simply adjust the sun shield all the way forward. In order to make that adjustment, all you have to do is loosen the four uh, Phillips head screws, uh, there's two on each side of the sun shield. Loosen those up and the sun shield's free to move forward and back. Deploy that all the way forward before securing. Again, that's with a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Move to the other side and secure that as well. Okay, once the sun shield's secure, now it's time to adjust the camber of the camera. With Legacy product, we're used to rotating the camera barrel. With the Autoscope Encore, we need to adjust the camber of the entire unit to adjust for any uh, degree of change in the luminaire arm. So with this, you'll look for a cue from uh, your team uh, assisting in, in aiming the camera at the cabinet. They will give you an idea of where to uh, adjust this camera. And right there, I'm fine. Simply take a 9 16th inch, uh, inch socket with an extension and adjust the bolt that's right in the center and tighten that once your camera's camber is to the ideal position. Now the camber of the camera is secure. Now the final step is to adjust the, pan at the uh, tilt so to adjust the tilt again, you'll look for your cue. Up. And there we are. Simply tighten that down. Good time to tighten the other bolts. And the Autoscope Encore camera is secure. Now just to finish up, uh, we, you'll notice this space underneath the camera. It's an ideal nesting spot for birds or just a uh, roosting spot. We don't want them interfering with detection performance. So in order to uh, avoid any uh, bird activity there, we've created a bird deterrent. It's a very simple yet effective uh, solution. This plastic device simply locks in place on top of the adjustment bolts, slides in front of the bracket, and snap locks into place. It's not going anywhere and that will prevent any birds from flying in front of the camera lens itself. Optimal detection performance is key on having a, a, a routine maintenance program. 
the Autoscope Encore, like any auto, uh, Autoscope camera, requires it. It's very simple. A, a very mild solution of soapy water sprayed onto the lens and then cleaned, wiped clean with a clean cloth and your camera lens is going to be perfect for optimal detection. Uh, what we've noticed with cameras that deployed in the field is that this unique lens aperture in the front not only helps to divert extraneous light sources from the lens, but it also diverts debris from accumulating on the lens, ensuring a clean lens and optimal detection for many years. That's it. That's the Autoscope Encore installation. is as simple as that.